Okay, so I'm going to walk you through a basic hand and scale, starting with the right hand on middle C. You have your thumb there on middle C. That's indicated by the star, by the way. And you're just going to walk up straight four notes. Each finger gets a chance to play, so you're assigning each finger a note. And you want to play on the pads of your fingers. So basically, if you were to flip your hands over and make a fist like this, then let go of your fist so that you can see these creases in your palm of your hand. Then turn your hands over like that. That's basically the position that you want your hands to be in when you're playing piano. You don't want to be down here like this because you just don't have the mobility. You want to stay up on the notes and hitting with the pad of your fingers. Okay? So, again, back to the hand scale. We're starting, I'll show you the right hand first. So you have C, next finger, next note is on the D. Next finger, next note is on the E. Then the next finger, next note is on the F. Now, instead of playing the pinky there on the G, you're actually going to skip up to the A and scoot the hand over to come straight down. And then now, look, we're moving up the piano because this time we're going to start on the D, going straight back up again, skipping that last note, coming straight back down. And that skip there is what allows us to be moving up the piano. All right, so this is really technique building, getting strength, filling the spacing between the notes. Don't practice too much with one hand by itself because piano players play with both hands. So we'll just kind of warm up the left hand a little bit, doing exactly the same thing. Notice that I am playing. Each finger has its own note that it gets a chance to play. No note is ever repeating twice. I'm trying to keep a very steady beat, although my instinct is to want to go faster, which is good because this scale can go faster and faster. All right, now, after you've got the idea with both hands separate, don't spend too much time with the hands separate. Bring the hands in together straight away. All right, so we got the C's together, D's together, E's together, F's together. Now you're going to skip and skip the hand over straight back down. Each finger gets a chance to play. No note plays twice in a row. And this is your basic hand and scale. Awesome. And as you get more comfortable with it, of course, you can speed it up. All right. And eventually take your eyes off your hand so you're playing it without looking. All right. Next thing is to come down. So when you're coming down, you skip on this end straight back up straight back down and skip on the end where you're headed so now i'm going towards the left of the piano so that means on the left side there is where i skip okay and so that's how you just bring the hand and scale back down and ideally you want to go up four octaves and straight back down four octaves when you practice this exercise